Hello folks, Ron Whitmire here. Today we want to talk about construction cranes and, and just some very basics about construction cranes. I'm particularly interested in uh, cranes right now because we're representing a client who was injured uh, when a load came loose from a crane on a construction uh, site dropping a 70-foot uh, uh, steel beam. So OSHA requires that crane operators be certified by nationally recognized crane uh, training and certification operators. Uh, but only when uh, they are operating a crane with a capacity to lift more than 2,000 pounds. Let's talk about some of the common types of construction cranes in use. Uh, mobile cranes. Those are the cranes you see where <clears throat> the entire crane is on a, uh, on a truck that's capable of going down the highway. Uh, so those are very versatile, can transport to and from construction sites uh, by themselves. Another type of crane is a telescopic crane. That's where you'll see the hydraulics. The crane will extend the boom by the hydraulics uh, in, in a telescoping uh, fashion. Another type of crane uh, that you see often in uh, downtown high-rise construction is a tower crane. Uh, tower cranes can go up to a thousand feet um, and when they go to any height you'll see them attached to the building but uh, very uh, useful type of a crane in high-rise construction. Uh, another type of crane is a truck mounted crane uh, now that's the type of crane you'll see mounted to essentially a flatbed truck uh, used primarily to uh, pick building materials off the truck and onto the job site. Another type of crane is a crawler crane and that is uh, a crane with uh, steel tracks on it. So very stable uh, but not very uh, mobile. <clears throat> Another type of crane is an overhead crane. So that's something where you see a steel structure and the crane moves back and forth uh, on the header of that structure uh, to uh, uh, deliver equipment and move uh, equipment or materials around the job site. Also very uh, commonly used in, in uh, industrial uses. Now there's some lifting equipment that is excluded from the operator certification requirements under OSHA, and that is, uh, these are just a few of the types of equipment uh, that do not require an operator to be certified, backhoes, excavators, tow trucks, and forklift trucks. Folks, thanks for watching this video today. If I can answer any questions, please feel free to shoot me an email, and please stay safe and be well.